Hello and welcome to a, another building video and today we are going to be revamping the random building tips series and we are going to be doing four builds, three ones here and a secret one up here which will actually help us build this one as well but for now let's just get straight into it. We are going to build this little archway and this is all you need. So you're going to want to start off by getting some boreal wood lamp and this is quite easy to get especially at the beginning of the game. We're going to place both of these. We're painting them brown here because it matches with the whole aesthetic. Then we are going to grab a lever. We are going to grab wires. I'm just going to use the grand design for this. Connect these, turn them off and try and get rid of the wires. <laughs> now what we're going to want to do is get some rich mahogany fence and we are just going to place two one there and one there just underneath there just to bulk it up a little bit more then we are going to grab the new ashwood fence and i really like this it actually has a lot of different uses and i've used it in two of the builds that we are going to be showing off today so you want to place one here and one there one there there we go now we want to get our wrought iron fence just go like that then we want to make sure that we get out the boreal wood fence and we just want to place one there and one there. Now we're going to get some bone platforms, place one there, one there, grab your echo blocks, place one there and one there. Now we're going to get our shade wood, and we're going to place one here and one here. Now that we have those, we are going to place these down, starting with two honey platforms on either side, connected to two boreal platforms with a brass shelf in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and get our actuators and we're going to actuate these on the side here, like so. Now we're going to get some ball bone platforms, place one up there, one there, and we're going to hammer these down three times just so they are flat and flush with it. Then I'm going to get some spooky wood because you know who doesn't love spooky wood, it is it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to finish off finally by adding a little bit of leaving leaf wall just to, there we go and we're going to finish off just by placing a lantern and there you go perfect we're all good there now all right and for the next build we are actually going to be building this floating island here so you're just going to basically want a bunch of different types of stone for this i'm going to be using regular stone gray bricks ebon stone brick and crimstone brick followed by craggy stone wall and worn stone wall and we're going to be going straight in with grey paint and we're just going to place a block right here and then just start sort of plotting out how big we want this to be so for this example i'm going to be doing another build on top of it so i'm going to want it to be pretty big now once you've filled in the whole thing you can turn on your paint spray and we're going to use grey paint with some brick and we're just going to go around adding a little bit of texture it's okay if you accidentally place some we're going to be removing them later so that's fine now we're going to place in some ebonstone brick here and there followed by some crimstone brick which just really brings out the texture and makes it pop now we're going to switch over to white paint and we're going to grab our craggy stone wall and our worn stone wall and we're just going to place these around hammering some of the blocks here and there just so that we can actually see the walls poking out so I like to use the worn stone wall for the bigger bits, followed by some of the craggy stone wall just to kind of even it out, as you can see here. Then we're going to be going in with our dirt blocks and we don't want them to be painted, so we're just going to grab these like this, and then we're just going to start placing them. If you want to take this a step further, you can do a little bit of hammering here and there, followed up by placing in some walls just to hide all of that hammering. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to build an old forge, which I really like the look of. I actually think this is quite nice. And you can see that we've used the ashwood fence here to create some hanging chains, which we also do something else, but actually with chains in the next build. So here are the materials you're going to need. It's fairly straightforward. I'm going to go slow on this one as to not make it too difficult to follow where I'm going. So we're going to start by grabbing some green slab wall. And we're just going to place one like this. And then actually like that that's a bit nicer i think then we're going to grab some rich mahogany fence you're just going to place one there then you're going to grab some she yeah, ebon wood fence <laughs> you're going to grab some ebon wood fence and we're just going to place this up like this then we're going to grab our shade wood and we're just going to place one there one there and however big you want this to be 
is how long you want to make this. Now from the center here you want to go up two blocks, go across two blocks, two more blocks, go across two blocks, three blocks. Now we're going to switch back over to our grey paint and we are going to grab our Dynasty Shingles. Now you just want to place these all along like this. There we go. Okay, finally, this is looking like that one now. Now we're going to go in with honey platforms, followed by golden platforms, followed by boreal wood platforms, followed by brass shelf with our brown paint. So, honey platform, gold platform. We're actually not going to use a gold platform here because it doesn't stretch out as much. Followed by a boreal wood platform on either side. Followed by brass shelf. We're going to do two of those on each side. Back to boreal, back to gold, back to honey. And just for now, I'm just going to place a block there. And echo coat that. Lovely. Now we're going to grab our actuators and we are going to actuate some of these brighter blocks. Just blend it in a little bit more. And there you go. Boom. Just as easy as that. Now we're going to get our ashwood fence and we are going to paint it grey. We're going to start off by just placing a few like this. Blacksmithing rack and we're just going to place it there. Followed by using some echo coating. I'm just going to go there and in the middle. And now it kind of looks like it's hanging on chains in the background without it needing to be actually hung on real chains. And there you go. That's it. You can add a furnace, you can add anything you really want here, but I just think this is a really nice way to set the entrance or exit of your house. And lastly, we have this little lamp post, which has, um, anyways, this is all you need for it. Yet again, quite a simple build. This is probably the most complicated out of all the builds because we're going to be doing some shading work. And we want to place down our walls just here. And I'm just going to build that up a little bit. Switch over to our brown paint. And we're going to place our shade wood just there. Now, we can use any block here to transition it to the fence, but I like to use the block of the actual wood that it is. So I'm going to jump back down here and grab the shade wood. Then all we want to do is place one piece there and then go our fence and place it just above. Now we want to get an actuator and just get rid of that like that. And there you go. I think that looks quite nice. And then you just want to place three going up like this. Then you want to grab your wooden shelves and you want to just grab these like this and place them just along like this. Then you want to go ahead and hammer these ones, that one twice and that one once. And there you go. Now you want to get your palladium column painted grey like that on either side. Then mudstone painted grey followed by a little bit of titan stone then hammer all of these down and you can see it has like a bit of a gradual transition from the bright part to the not as bright part then we're just going to top that off with some raw titan fence just like that and then we are going to get our chains and we are going to be not painting these at all then what we're going to do is add our brown paint over that to add a little bit of rust. And there you go. A nice little lamppost. And what you can also do is I've used a little bit of living leaf wall here, painted white. You can just add a little bit more texture to the back of the build. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this and this did help you, please maybe consider subscribing. It would really help a lot. Anyways, that's it for now and have a good one.